Hi everyone and welcome to this watercolour painting video. I know it's a little bit different than my usual videos but I want to work on this for my mum as it's her birthday coming up very soon. Um, she really loves deer and she loves landscapes and that sort of thing so I wanted to try out some watercolour paints. Uh, she actually got me these watercolour paints for my birthday last year which is pretty awesome and I thought it would be, be a really cool idea to bring them out and try and see what I can come up with. It's actually really nice sometimes to go into these paintings or drawings without any plan and just being a bit more relaxed. I find that sometimes I, I overthink things um, in life and in my work and it always has a negative effect so going into stuff like this with uh, less thoughts and just kind of seeing how it goes is a really nice way to work sometimes. I also really enjoy working on the more technically difficult and detailed drawings that I work on for these videos. Uh, but it's nice to switch up between both styles, uh, just kind of changing between detailed drawings and more relaxed styles. Is, it's nice to kind of change up and not burn out on either one. I'm having so much fun with the drawings and the videos recently because I'm spending more time on just working on the things that I want to work on and I'm, I'm not overthinking everything, which is just a, a much nicer way to work. For this painting I tried to keep the cooler tones to the background with the sky and the mountain and the misty trees and then further towards the foreground as the layers get closer that's where I was adding more details um, especially to the trees and the deer in the foreground um, adding more highlights and shading to them and after all of the layers have been added I also used my Uniwall highlighter pen to add some highlights around the deer and the trees to make them the prominent feature of this drawing. Um, also adding lots of little particle effects and that kind of thing. It was, it was just a really nice uh, style to try. I kind of took influences from my Inktober sketchbook uh, and the kind of the, the way I worked on that. I had so much fun working on this painting for my mum. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, back in 2015, my mum almost passed away from a brain aneurysm. Uh, it was a huge shock for both of us and for the rest of the family. Um, and it was an extremely difficult time. Uh, but my mum made a really great recovery from that. So that She even surprised the doctors and she recovered so well. Um, and we're extremely grateful, grateful for that. And I, I'm feeling so grateful for that every single day. Um, the doctors were absolutely amazing. But the, the whole experience was so eye-opening in that it kind of made us, bo both of us realise that it, it's so important to um, spend your time on the things that matter. Uh, I, th I feel like before that I was spending way too much time worrying about the little things and things that just didn't I didn't need to waste thought on. Uh, and since then I've been focusing more time on being positive making the most of opportunities and just working as hard as possible on the drawings and on this channel. Um, my my mum has been so encouraging and supportive of that in, in trying to live life uh, the way you want to and trying to make a living doing what you love. Um, it, it means a lot to have that kind of support and it's something that I am feeling extremely grateful for every single day. <laughs> I know this is a very different video than my usual ones. I just want to kind of put a bit of a message out there I guess. Uh, I've just been thinking out loud in this video, um, you know, not worrying about the little things and just making the most of opportunities. It's, uh, yeah, I guess that's the message of this video. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I, I love being a part of this platform and being able to speak to all of you and being able to share my work. It, it means a lot. I, I appreciate it every single day. I really do. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this painting uh, and <laughs> hearing me talk randomly. Um, let me know what you think of this painting in the comments below. Uh, and if you have any more suggestions for future fan art or fantasy art or any tutorials you'd like to see, then let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy videos like this, then make sure you're subscribed and any likes or shares are hugely appreciated and it, it really does help the channel out. If you want to follow my progress and keep up to date with everything I'm working on, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.